All right, I guess I'll start by saying what I'm trying to do here. So essentially what I'm trying to do is trying to get people to register at my website and use my monetization method. For example, I have an app where you register on Adsterra, you make an account on Adsterra, and then you make a blog. Uh, once you do that and you basically fill in all your information, then you, you are shown ads. And these ads are paid to you. They're not paid to me. I'm simply hosting the website. So what I want to do is, according to which person is logging in, I want to show that specific person their unique link. So I want them to have a link they could go to to view their ads. And this link is going to have to change from person to person. It's confusing. But essentially, I want to show somebody that registers on my page their unique URL or their unique content, their unique name, their unique uh, number, their unique this. I know there's user meta in WordPress already, but what I want to do is I don't want to use that one. I don't want to use their website or their email. I want to use other things like their Adsterra url their ads terra ads right because it's going to be different from person to person so that that person's ads or monetizing metric or way of monetizing himself is going to be on his own website and then if he wants he could share that website with his friends so i finally did that if you're looking for to do something similar to this this is the video for you um let me get right into it to show you my website. So Monetize Me is an app where you could earn money by watching ads, blah, blah, blah. Now, this will work if you have a WordPress website. Um, you're going to need a few add-ons, guys. I mean a few add-ons, and we're going to go over them. Let's go to my dashboard. So first thing you're going to need is snippets. Now, what is snippets? Snippets is basically like adding custom code into your website. So anytime you use that code, or you could use a, a code anywhere on the website that will trigger that long code. So let's look for snippets on our apps. If we go to plugins, add new on the left, we'll see code snippets. Mine is already active, but you guys could go ahead and install and then activate it. And you'll see a new bar, which is snippets right over here. Now, next thing you're going to need is the snippet I got. It's the only one I have. The other ones come with it, but they're not even activated. Ultimate. So you're going to need ultimate member, right? Because we are talking about ultimate member here. I am using ultimate member. Um, I'm assuming you already have a login created. You could check videos. There's videos out there on how to do it. Anyways, this is assuming you already got the basics done. Uh, ultimate member user meta short codes. So let's Google that ultimate member member user or sorry, user meta short codes. Was it user meta short codes? I don't know where it is snippets. So here it is. It's our first page and it's this, uh, no, this is not it. This is just, let's go back to installation. Wow, where did it go? I just had it. User meta snippets. I think that's it. Yeah, here it is. So it's user meta snippets. So easy, guys. All you have to do is grab this code right here. OK, I'm going to make it again. And then I'll delete it to avoid just in case. So we're going to make a new. And where are we? Snippets. Add new on the left over here. Click that. Enter a title. I'm just going to call it uh, MetaCode2. And we're just going to paste our code here. And there we go. We have a beautiful, let's just save changes. But you're going to save changes and activate. So cl 
click save changes and activate and for example that and now it is activated S snippet update and activated so we got user meta short codes out of the way ultimate member you already installed before we got the snippets out of the way we need one more thing one more thing guys let's go back to plugins at least you got all that set up it's out of the way I'm gonna want to deactivate this snippet because I already have one so okay let me just delete this really quick don't do any of this guys this is not related to you so we're gonna need something called pods what are pods pods are like adding an extra custom field to uh you could be to a user could be to a page and uh i'm gonna show you and in conjunction this works so well together so well so pods i think it's actually pretty new pods custom content types and fields that's what it is pods are cost custom content types and fields you may wonder why do i need this well if you want to add a certain extra line of text or code to a member so under their email or under all their information you could add anything like their pant size their uh, bra size their anything you want to add it could be anything you could write whatever you want and then you could change that input or i guess you could request them to change that input and then I'm going to display that input later on in their text. So let's download pods, install and activate it. Once that's done, you'll see this pods admin thing down here. And as you could see, I have already added a user pod. So you could add pods to forms. You could add pods to posts, to media. I have never done that yet. I was more focused on the user because I want to add it to the user. So let's create a new pod custom pod like poster pages it could be a settings page so it will add a pod here you could add a pod anywhere but I had already started a pod so I'm gonna look for my pods and I'm simply gonna add to that so I had a user pod here you could only have one user pod however inside the user pod you could add whatever as many pods as you want so I got two pods here I'm gonna delete this one because I'm not really using it and I'm gonna add a we're gonna add a field here. If you don't know how to get here, you gotta add a new pod. And I forgot how this part goes. Extend existing, I believe it is. And you need to extend the users because you're not creating a new one. You're extending the users one. So we create extending. It were extend existing. And then we add the users the reason i can't see users here is because i already have or created a user so you got to create it once you have it we could go to our users we could edit it we could add new users or new new fields to our users so i'm gonna add one just to test it out <coughs> let's call it a youtube test youtube channel test all right so we all we're all on the same and the label is here so pay attention to this label guys this is what you're going to use to call this field so anytime you want to call the name to your website where the user is then you're going to use this this youtube underscore channel underscore test they automatically convert it for you to to delete the open spaces all right, cool. I think that's all you have to do. If we go to advanced, we could allow short codes or allow HTML. Nah, I don't have to, I guess. This is just a test. But take everything into consideration depending on what you do. You could read via an API or write via an API if you want to do that sort of thing. So I'm going to save it the way it is. It is saved. I'm going to save the pod here on the right side. We're going to save that. And now if we go to users, Let's go to users here, where's users? And we're gonna check out 
this account. I don't know. Let's say I, any of them you want, really. But let's check Cute Sexy Girls over here, which is my other account. It's just a bot account. So if we scroll down to the bottom, you'll see my new fields, more fields. Ah, the AdStera ads, the ExoClick ads, and the YouTube channel test. So on the YouTube channel test, I am going to say, I am king. All right. I am king. We're going to update the user. And now we're going to go to. We're going to go to our pages and we're going to look for our ultimate member user page. Now, our ultimate member user page, I like to adjust them by date because I haven't really messed around with them. And you'll see all my ultimate member pages. I am specifically looking for the user page. You know, I'm just going to sort them by date. All right, here we go. So my page is the original page. I did change it around a little bit. I made it look a little different for the users. Um, so I'm going to edit it with Elementor. I think I, you could edit it if you haven't yet. This is the page the member is going to see once they log in. This is going to be their profile page. So I have adjusted it a little bit. I'm going to edit it with Elementor and show you exactly what I mean. And as we load, you're going to see how easy this really is to do. It's just complicated in the beginning. Anyways, as you could see here right away, I say welcome UM user meta key equals first name. And that is the short code you guys added with your snippet. With your snippet, you're allowed to use this short code. Um, username, first name. You're allowed to use this code. Um, sorry, um underscore user space meta underscore key equals boom. And then you type in whatever you're referencing. What do you mean? What do I am referencing here? I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. So what you guys need to reference here is your user. So you go back to your users. Let's go back to cute, sexy girls. And this is what we reference the website, the name. Oh, here we have the first name. It would be first underscore name, last underscore name, nickname. So we're going to test it out. Let's use this code and let's put a new short code right here in the middle of the blue. We're going to paste that up there. And instead of first name, we're going to try, what was it? Nickname. We could try website nickname. So nickname should show me cute. Let's see if our nickname is going to be cute. So nickname update. And now, to check, to check, I need to open a new browser, and I need to log in as that person. So I'm going to log in using Google, because that's what I used, and I used cute, sexy girls here. And here we go. We're going to log in to our website, and we're going to go to our profile, because that's how I got it laid out. And it says, welcome, cute. There are no ads, Terra ads, because that is blank. However, it did not say welcome cute there either. So let's check it out. So we do have that. First underscore name. Maybe it's in... I don't think capitals matter, but let's try. Maybe they do matter. Let's update and let's refresh the other page to see if we got touchdown. No, oh, we do. It says my name over there. Okay, so it is uh, case sensitive, guys. So aware of that. So essentially, I could call anything I want here now. So what what did I just copy over there? It was the, what was it? It was her YouTube channel test. Okay, 
So now we want to call that YouTube channel test. So YouTube underscore channel underscore test. And that should show us the I am king, if I'm not mistaken. So let's do that. And there it is. It says I am king in gray letters. So that's done. You could post whatever you want. I wonder, here's a, I mean, this is just out of the blue. I wonder if HTML is going to work. So let me grab an ad. Because like this, I could avoid, well, I could just show an image or any HTML for that matter in there. Huh. Let's see if this works, guys. I'm actually really curious. So I'm going to grab an ad from, uh, how about ads, Tara? Let's grab a native ad. And I'm going to grab a native ad. I'm going to put it in there. And I'm going to see if uh, it works. So let's grab an ad here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see which site am I on. Here, let me show you guys. So I'm on Ads Terra right now. I'm going to grab an ad really quick. I'm going to grab a native banner ad. I'm going to get the code. I'm going to copy the code. I'm going to put it into... Actually, I want to put it in the user. So I'm going to put HTML in this and see if it will display the HTML on the user's page, because that would make things a whole lot easier for me. I don't think it will, because uh, it just went blank on me. What if I do that? Put a quote. Will it work? Just the quote worked. Maybe I need to change the pods. Let's try editing the pods of the of the YouTube channel test to accept not plain text, but code syntax. Let's try code. Will it accept code? We're going to find out. So let's go back to the, okay, now that we got that saved, let's go back to the user and let's try changing cute, sexy to, let's see, let's try putting the code in there. Okay, so now we have a code here. Let's try putting that update user. <clears throat> and I think, I think it, yeah, it's saved. Now we're going to call that same code here. And let's see. So I didn't even have to change the code on the website. Just in their profile. Let's see if we get the ad. This is amazing. All right, guys, it works. So. Wow, that's amazing. That is amazing. Amazing, guys. I hope you liked the video. Um, if you have any problems, let me know in the comments. I'll answer as soon as I can. But uh, I hope that helped you. It was a long video, a long documentary, a long tutorial. But now I know how to insert certain additional user slots, putting information in there, and then displaying that information in their user user profile and it could be html you could use code as you saw like this pods thing is amazing and i'm sure this isn't the only place you could add it to media i don't know i've never tried that maybe we'll try that one day into posts into forms it's great you could add it into forms which is i guess the registration form or any form that's cool Anyways, guys, if you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, tell me what you think about it, what you, if you experienced problems or issues, let me know, but it seems to work perfect. I also learned that you could even add HTML today, so it was a win-win situation for me, guys. If you know of an easier way, let me know. I'm here to learn too, guys. We could learn off each other, and uh, 
yeah, I'll cut this video. It's 20 minutes. We're going into 20 minutes already. I hope that helped. And uh, that's it for adding extra meta or user fields into your ultimate member, using ultimate member at least. I used ultimate member, I used pods, I used snippets, I used ultimate member, what was it? Ultimate member, user meta short codes. There were a lot of add-ons that were required, but once that is done guys, you just go to users here and you just edit the users and you could put in whatever you want into their code list and it will show up in their page if you call for it.